Welcome to Audio Tips. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys <clears throat> how to locate your click track inside of uh, Logic Pro. Why this is so important is because uh, when you're structuring a, <clears throat> a song and you're ready to produce it, you always need timing. Why do you need timing? Because if you don't have timing, everything's going to be off time and it's just going to sound like crap. Uh, not to be hard or anything, but that's that's really how it is. Music is 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 uh, relies a lot on timing. So uh, a click track will help you stay uh, stay on beat and it'll uh, it'll help you stay uh, on sequence. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that inside Logic Pro. So before you start any production, uh, uh, always always uh, always have a click track and always follow your your tempo. So uh, click track beats to to uh, to whatever tempo you're at. <clears throat> So where the low, where the where the click track is located in Logic Pro is up here on the side. You see five uh so, sorry six buttons. It's the one to the far right. If you hold the cursor over it, it should say something. Well, it doesn't. But if you click that, you start at 120 BPM. You'll hear the click track. Turn it off. You don't hear it anymore. So that's where to locate the click track inside Logic Pro is. If you uh, if you guys didn't know that before, I hope you guys learned something new. And I hope you uh, uh, showed you guys something that you guys didn't know. Have a great day and please subscribe.